in this lecture we are going to learn that how we can define I, I mean how we can use our define section so first of all I'll go here our materials properties you can see here they have some default value already given as per ASTM A6 on 5 grade 60 and also here 4000 psi concrete and this is for steel now if you want to change that value simply click here for modify otherwise if you need to add a new materials then click here okay so i'll just click here and uh, reason united state okay materials is still so we'll not use is still we'll use river so first of all we'll define our river materials properties then a standard which a standard you want to use just see for astm a615 they have three grade 40 ksi 60 ksi 75 ksi and for astm a706 they have six to get only so i will use or if you want to modify as per your value or as per your requirement then you can use user okay so if you click user and then if you click okay you see they have some value with respect to that value you are also able to use that i'll click here and uh, for fy i will use 500 megapascal or 500 500 megapascal means 72.5 ksi clear now what is it river and what is the color you can change its color if you need to add some notes you may add it here and wet part you need volume how we know all we know that 4090 pound per feet cube okay and mass per unit volume it will convert automatically no need to do anything and also you know know, know that modulus of elasticity e for our e still is fixed and it's 29 into 10 to the power 6 pound per inch square clear this is the fixed value nothing to do with it and here coefficient of thermal expansion this is also uh, no need to change anything here and you can you, you may also change it as per your code recommendation and then the most important thing design property data so here we have to change it we have to change it so seventy two point five now the design properties for river materials this is minimum yield strength fy minimum tensile strength fu and expected tensile. okay let's leave it like that okay and uh, if you go add new materials then astm there on and 75 just let's see now here just see if you see here our the value have been automatically changed now we have option that i mean we, we can identify that what is the difference between that value so for 75 for 75 it's uh, i mean minimum yield strength a few and uh, minimum tensile strength a few so what is the difference if I show you on on luck divided by seventy five thousand. So this difference is one point three three, one point three three, and when our value was sixty into 1.33 just see this is almost 
80 clear so i'll uncheck it and also i mean this value will be 33 percent uh, uh, 133 i mean more than 33 percent of that value and for that one we'll also check it Eight two five zero zero divided by seventy five zero zero. Just one point one. So our FYE expected yield strength will be one point one times of FY, and that one will be one point three three times of FU, and FUE will be one point one times of FU. Clear? So always remember that this value i mean this value will be one point on times of fye expected value will be one point on times of expect i mean fy and uh expected fu will be one point on times of fu clear so always you have to remember that now we'll go for a text and also this uh, recommended value are given in our aci code okay minimum tensile strength and minimum yield strength this value is given in our code so i'll close it i'll close it so again i'll go here i'll change it and if you uh, see that our uh, value for 75 that was on luck and here 90000 so 90000 divided by 60,000 this is 1.5 okay so as we are using 75 so we will use 933 7500 and sorry 72 this value will be 72500 okay and this value will be 70 72500 into 1.33 that value and this value will be 75 72500 into 1.1 clear and this value will be 9 into 1.1 is it clear to you so in this way you have to provide all of that value perfectly clear so i'll just click here okay now everything is set and uh for materials dumping properties will nothing change here now and also for non-linear materials data when we'll go for non-linear analysis will may come here further to change some data from here clear but now Will not change any intermediate occupancy level then life saving level and collapse prevention level so I'll, I'll not change anything from here at this time click ok click ok so we have provided that value i mean value of our steel materials property we have provided it perfectly 